Welcome to the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Let's begin with today's news headlines. The acting commandant of the Marine Corps has ordered an investigation into what happened to the F-35B fighter jet based at Marine Corps Air Station Buford that forced the pilot to eject from his jet just north of North Charleston Sunday. It took more than 24 hours for teams from Joint Base Charleston to find the debris field left by the F-35B in Williamsburg County, a couple of hours north of Charleston. Now, the Charleston base actually put out a tweet asking for help in locating the nearly $100 million plane after it kept flying following the ejection of the pilot who has not yet been named, but is safe after parachuting into a neighborhood north of Charleston. Well, state law enforcement investigators are looking into a fire Sunday night in Hilton Head's Sea Pines community that killed the occupant of a house on Governor's Road. Fire crews arrived at the home after smoke alarms went off and quickly doused the fire, but found a body in the room where the fire is believed to have started. It's the first death on the island since last September. Well, if you're concerned about the high number of traffic wrecks in Bluffton and want to help do something about it, well, Police Chief Joe Babkowitz is hosting another community safety discussion Wednesday night between 6 and 7.30 at the Bluffton Police Department training room. As we've told you before, the town is averaging about 1,400 wrecks a year. That's nearly four every day. And five people have been killed in wrecks on Bluffton roads this year. Babkowitz says distracted driving is to blame for a majority of those wrecks. Remember the days when a single person making $1,000 a month salary was on target for a living wage? Well, the personal finance site GoBankingRates.com is releasing a study saying it's over now $4,000 a month for a single person to live in South Carolina. And we're actually among the, the cheaper States in the country ranked at 38th most expensive. Inflation has bumped the living wage up 3.2% in the last year to over $52,000 a year. That living wage number is over 12,000, 112,000 a year in Hawaii, the most expensive place in the country to live. Massachusetts, California, New York, and Alaska are all over 70K a year to live for a single person more information on these stories and many more. Please check out the media sources listed on your screen and remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and we'll check out our website at whhitv.com. If you have a news tip, story idea, or even a cool weather photo, well, you can just email it to us at news at whhitv.com. And now let's get an update on sports from Justin Jarrett with Loco Sports. Justin. Hey, it's time for Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. We've reached the midway point of the high school football regular season, which means we're gearing up for region play and starting to think about who has started making the case for postseason accolades. The first one rolled in for Hilton Head High star Shai Thompson, who was the lone Loco representative named to the South Carolina roster for the Shrine Bowl of the Carolinas on Monday. Thompson is a standout edge rusher who has earned scholarship offers from more than 20 colleges, including Coastal Carolina and Appalachian State. Through five games this season, Thompson has led a stingy Seahawks defense with 35 tackles, including 28 solo stops and 15 tackles for loss. He has three sacks and five quarterback hurries, along with four pass breakups, two forced fumbles and a fumble recovery, and he's blocked a field goal and a punt. Dude can do it all, and that's why he'll rep the Loco at the Shrine Bowl on December 16th at Spartanburg High School. Thompson is a lock to play at the next level, and two more Loco standouts made their plans to do so semi-official in the past week, with softball stars Brooke Crosby and Kylie Rast announcing their commitments. Crosby is a standout at Battery Creek High School who will take her game to Newberry next year, while Beaufort High's star pitcher Rast has said she's headed to North Greenville when her high school career wraps up. Crosby and Rast are teammates on the Bad Cats travel team under Battery Creek coach Bob Lehman, and they still have one more season left and have not yet signed with their colleges. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco. Thank you, Justin. And I'm Maria Soden with the weather. It has been absolutely gorgeous. Humidity down, early morning temperatures down. Take it away, Maria. 
Thanks, Robin. Yep, so taking a look ahead, we are going to see quite a bit of rain at the end of this week. But looking at Wednesday, it's going to be sunny with Hillnet having a high of 83, a low of 69. Bluffton's going to high of 83, a low of 67. And Buford's going to high of 83, a low of 66. The sunrise for Wednesday is going to be at 710, and sunset's going to be at 723. Looking at the beach tides, low tide's going to be at 749 a.m., and high tide's going to be at 128 p.m. Taking a look into the rest of the week and into the weekend, Thursday is going to be partly cloudy in the morning with scattered showers throughout the day, but it should be clearing up by the evening. Highs in the 80s, lows in the upper 60s. Then come Friday, it's going to be cloudy and windy with heavy showers in the late afternoon and going into the evening. Highs will be in the 70s, lows in the 60s. And then come Saturday, it's going to be scattered showers again throughout the day and into the evening. Highs in the 70s, lows in the 60s. That's it for today. Let's head back to the desk. Thank you, Maria. And coming up after the break, we'll learn about a women's conference happening in early October. Stay tuned.